Good afternoon, hockey fans. I'm Chris Durrell. I'm here for RollerPros.com to bring you my Jager Bombs DFS NHL shots of the night. We got 11 games on the slate tonight. Before we jump into that, just want to let you know if you're not a Rotor Pros member, you make sure to jump over to rotorpros.com, hit the sign up button, and right now we got a 30 day free trial running on, going on. Uh, pretty sure you're going to like what we have to offer. We cover a ton of sports NFL, NHL, NBA, uh, soccer, baseball, NASCAR. Um, all the PGA, all those kind of sports. Um, we have one-on-one -on -one coaching. We have skeleton lineups. We have um, VIP articles and player lists that we go off of top stacks and stuff like that. Um, pretty sure you're going to stick around for the long haul once you try our 30-day free trial. That's rotopros.com slash sign up. Let's jump into the slate. I'm going to start off uh, just by looking at my cheat sheet here. Um, I provide this every day in chat as well as on my Twitter at Jaeger underscore bombs nine. Um, so yeah, I said we've got 11 games tonight. We've got a ton of teams on back-to-backs, a few that are on three and fours. Uh, Pittsburgh and Tampa Bay and Dallas are all on the road and all playing back-to-back -back and three and four. That's something to keep in mind as well. Um, this cheat sheet I use, I've got the goalies, centers, wingers, and defense. Um, got uh, top stacks that show up here later in the day as the morning skate information comes in, so be, for, be sure to check back for that. And then on the individual player tabs, um, green are going to be my core plays, blue are going to be my GPP plays, red are injured or out, yellow is value, and you're going to find that between all the positions here, so make sure to check that out. With that, let's jump into my core plays for tonight. Starting off with the goaltender position, Connor Hellebuck. For the Winnipeg Jets, 8,300 on DraftKings, 8,600 on FanDuel. He's a minus 220 favorite, 7 and 3 in his last 10 games with a 914 save percentage, and he's facing over 32 shots per game, so he's got a ton of upside there as well. Jets are the second best home team in the league behind Tampa Bay. They've got a 19 6 and 2 record, and they face a Ducks team that's lost 14 of their last 16 games and scoring two or fewer goals in 11 of those games. So definitely like Halley Buck at those prices tonight. Paying up for goal is a great option. The other goalie I like paying up for tonight, Robin Leonard. It's a minus 170 home favorite for the Islanders. Has been elite lately with an 8-1-1 record, 949 save percentage, and two shutouts. Leads the league in both goals against average at 202 and save percentage at 931. And he faces a Kings team that ranks dead last on offense overall and is the only team in the league averaging under two goals per game on the road. So great spots for both those goalies. I will have a share of both. I'm not sure which one I'm going to be going with in cash games yet. Kind of got to wait to see how the day plays out. Do a little bit uh, more before making my final decision. But both are excellent plays. Jumping over to the center position. Ryan O'Reilly, uh, first of all, I do like going, just like last night, I like going with more of a balanced center attack and rather than paying up, at least in cash games for sure. Ryan O'Reilly stands out tonight at 6,800 on both sides. He's coming in red hot. 12 points, 3 on the power play in his last 10 games with 34 shots on goal. And he's averaging over 21 and a half minutes of ice time, which is huge for uh, your forwards when looking at that. Skates on the top line with Vladimir Tarasenko and the top power play unit. Um, I like stacking him with Tarasenko, especially on DraftKings where he's only 6K. I think that makes a very viable cash game two-man stack. I talk about that quite a bit as well. He faces a Blue Jackets team that's ice cold, losing four straight while giving up 15 goals in that time, and they rank 24th in home defense on the season, 19th overall on defense. I like Ryan O'Reilly in all formats tonight. Dylan Larkin stands out again. I talk about him a lot. Um, he's just been an absolute beast on a struggling offense. Detroit ranks 25th overall on offense this season. He's got 10 points and 39 shots over his last 10 games. So not only has he been hot lately, but on the season he's got 49 points in 52 games with an above average 10.5 shots per 60 and 17.7 individual course per 60. So he's got a high floor, he's got a high ceiling, the usage rate is up there, and the Senators are an elite matchup for him as they rank dead last in defense overall, allowing 3.76 goals per game. Love the combination, like I said, of a high floor, high ceiling, elite matchup, and sub-7K price tag on both sides. He kind of checks off all the boxes for me and is going to be a core play. I'm probably going to be pairing Larkin or O'Reilly at center for my cash game lineups tonight. And I will have exposure to them as well in GBPs. Moving on to wingers, Victor Arvidsson stands out to me. Um, he's probably going to be a little bit lower owned tonight um, just because he's facing a tougher matchup in the Stars who are top five defense both at home and on the road. But Arvidsson is providing an elite floor and I definitely like going back to him. He's got five or more shots in five of his last six games and has converted as well on those. He's got nine goals in his last ten games and now 21 on the season. If you got salary to spare, don't get me wrong, Nikita Kucherov is an elite option tonight and a better matchup against the Rangers. 
but with the discount with Arvidsson and some of the other, uh, you know, I want to go a little bit more balanced. I'm paying up for goalie, like I talked about, um, going a little more balanced when it comes to the center position. So I do like the balance that Arvidsson provides, especially in points per dollar. With his discount, the points per dollar is definitely there, and he's going to be a core play for me tonight. Dominic Simon stands out for me as well as a value play tonight in your lineups on both sides at 4,000, 4,200 on FanDuel. He's seen an uptick in ice time since jumping up on the top line with Crosby and Gensel. Points in three of his last five games and is coming off a six-shot game versus the Sens. So he has shown upside as well as some of the, uh, the floor there as well for cash games as long as he stays at this price and continues to skate on that top line. Plus matchup versus the Leafs team that has struggled a bit lately, uh, losing five of their last seven games while giving up 3.4 goals per game in that time. Jumping over to defense, I think it's a great night to pay up. Um, hard not to consider paying up for Burns at defense tonight, just how he's been playing. When he's playing elite, he's definitely worth that 6,800, 7,500. You know, he's kind of one like fits in the category of like a top uh, skater as well when you're looking at centers or wingers at uh, the same price tag. He's been incredible lately, providing a very high floor with 46 shots and 22 blocks over his last 10 games. And has also flashed big upside with 11 points in those games while averaging over 27 minutes of ice time. So he's getting all the opportunity in the world in all facets of the game. And he gets a little bit of a boost tonight. It sounds like Eric Carlson may miss the game due to sickness. So expect that 26 to 28 minutes of ice time to continue tonight. And his best value is going to come on DraftKings, where it's very close between him and Latang. But I would also consider Chris Latang a top D man on FanDuel at a $700 discount, just from a points per dollar perspective. Next up, we've got Alexander Edler, 6200 on DraftKings. What stands out the most is that $4,300 price tag on FanDuel. He's always a high floor option for cash games, as he has 28 shots and 25 blocks over his last 10 games, and leads all players on this slate with a 7.5 blocks per 60 on the season. Skates over 24 minutes per game, so that usage rate is definitely up there. Skates all facets for the Canucks. And, you know, I'd rather pay up for Burns or Latang, like I talked about on DraftKings. Um, just, you know, for five, six dollars $600 more, you can get Burns. So I'm definitely leaning that route. But on FanDuel, he's a near lock for me at 4300 with the high floor that he provides, especially in cash games. He does provide a little bit of upside as well this season. So I'll definitely uh, look to him as well as a salary relief option in GPP formats. So that covers my core players for tonight. Like I said, make sure to check out the cheat sheet um, and all my highlighted plays. Uh, just for instance, like here's the centers. Like I said, green is going to be core plays, blue or GPP, red are going to be out, and yellow when you start seeing them, those are going to be the value plays. Kind of guys that are in the 5,000 and under range on both the sites tonight. Maybe someone that's getting uh, you know moved up a line. That's stuff I'm going to evaluate throughout the day as I go over the morning skate information. If you got any questions, definitely head over to the member chat room we got going on uh, with Roto Pros. Um, we've got the member chat, we've got Hockey Talk. We kind of, like I said, cover all the sports. So a lot of information in there. That's where you're going to find all of our content. That's where you're going to find our skeleton lineups. And that's where you're going to find us, most importantly, uh, to give you some one-on-one -on -one, um, counseling, whether you want to talk about strategy, whether you want to talk about players, lineup construction. Uh, jump in, uh, sign up today, get that 30-day free trial. Thanks a lot for watching the video. Thank, uh, make sure to like and subscribe, and let's go get some green screens tonight, everyone. Good luck.